Hello, Professor Morgan here showing you how to set up automatic replies in your Outlook uh, program. This has uh, been updated in March of 2024. So when you uh, open up the Outlook um, application, um, I have redacted this information. This is where you'd see your inbox, and this is where you'd see the email or whatever. So um, what you're going to do to set up the automatic replies, so this is when you're going to be out of you know, away from the office, and when people email you, you want to let them know, hey, I'm not here, and I'm not responding to my emails, but I'll be back by a certain day. So, you know, for stuff like spring break, because um, I work in academia, so spring break or Thanksgiving break or whatever. Okay, so the first thing you can do is you're going to click on the little gearbox up here. Gearbox, boom. Okay. Once you click on the gearbox, then it brings up this window right here. Okay, now I'm live. All right, that was whatever. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to search under settings. I'm just going to type in AU. AU! And then that'll be automatic replies. Okay. Um, that's golden. <sighs> anyway. Um, okay. So automatic replies. Okay. Now, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to turn on the automatic replies. Now, then we're going to set the specific times of when it starts and when it stops. Super important. Make sure you set an end date. Because um, if you don't, then you say, hey, I'm out of the office today. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow, and then people start emailing you tomorrow, and you still have your out-of-office reply, then that's not cool. Um, so so make sure you click this box right here, send replies only during this time. Now, um, I'm going to set this up for uh, spring break of 2024. So I'm going to say that spring break starts on the 8th, and I'm going to actually have a, this things go out starting at 5 p.m. And then when does spring break end? Whoops, let's go look at the calendar here. So spring break is all of this week right here. So faculty or whatever will return back on the 18th. Okay. And again, it's based on their schedule. Okay. So I'm just going to say 8. Okay. So 8 a.m. So that's when it's going to go to. Okay. Now you can choose to block your calendar for this period if people try to, you know, do whatever or automatically decline new invitations because you're not going to be here, right? Um, yet, then to go ahead and. Um, this is the, I would still write a little blurb here. And it can be very generic. It's like, greetings, I'm out of the office starting March 8th at 5 p.m. I'll return on March 18th at 8 a.m. I'll respond to your emails when I return. Thank you. Again, you can put whatever you want to. If this is one of those things where, let's say you have an administrative uh, position and you're going to be gone, but there may be someone that's going to be filling in for you while you're gone, you can say, please contact so-and-so you know, during my absence. Or in a case like if you're a faculty member and you're going to be on spring break, look, you don't need to be doing anything. This is spring break, okay? And then you would hit the save button. And then that's it. It's set up. So that'll go on. It'll automatically kick into place at 5 o'clock on the 8th. And then it'll turn itself off on the, 13th, on the 18th at 8 a.m. And then when you get back from spring break, you'll see... You know, that's the way, you know, when students or anyone else is trying to read out to you, it's like, hey, I tried to email me you and you never responded. Well, it's like... I did. I said you got the automatic response, and I'm not here. So, <laughs> anyway, so that's the video. Um, hope that's been helpful. And uh, yeah, so I strongly encourage you to do that because, again, good communication is always helpful uh, to uh, eliminate a lot of problems. All right, thank you so much.